there yarn jugglers it's Babs here from my fiery phoenix and today's tutorial is to show you how to knit these um, ever so sweet um, baubles for your Christmas tree um, you can obviously make them in any color way that you like but I've got a simple pattern for you which at the very basic is this version well in fact the very basic would be a single solid color but um, the uh, the version that I'm going to be showing you in the tutorial is this style where you have your increases with your um, with your invisible make ones you have a a band which you can uh, color theme and then you have your decreases with your slip stitch, slip slip knits and your knit two togethers there's an option to crochet the hook at the top or the loop at the top, but you don't have to crochet that if crochet is not your thing. So what I'll do is um, I'll take you through how to create these baubles and uh, you can find the patterns for all three versions, including this lovely stripy version on the website. So the link to that will be in the video description below. So uh, go grab some yarn and um, I'll see you back in a minute. The yarn that I've used to create these is um, Stylecraft uh, Special uh, in double knit and I've used Cream, Aster and Aspen which gives us this lovely um, frozen icy um, colourway and uh, the, what I'm going to do is take you through casting on how I use my uh, needles to knit in the round and uh, I'll take you through the make one I won't show you how to knit everything round and round and round, but I will then take you through the uh, knit two together and slip slip knit. And um, finally, I'll take you through how to close, how to stuff and how to create the crochet loop, which will give you all the skills that you need to be able to create your own Christmas bauble. So um, let's get cracking. So here we are with our 12 stitches and what we're going to do is move those around so that we can actually start to sew in the round and the uh, whilst this is very <laughs> it can look quite complicated the first time um, you do this the, it will become easier but basically what we're doing is creating three three sections on our round needle so we've got one two three so we turn it we have our three sections of stitches it doesn't matter what numbers are on here because we can change it each time we move everything around and we have turned it so that we have our working yarn on the right hand side and we're going to join straight into the very first stitch that we cast on so this is our last stitch that we cast on this is the first stitch that we cast on and we're going to simply knit into that and do one round two rounds in fact of knitting to start us off and each time we come to the end of a batch of stitches we can simply slide everything through pull that forward and then poke that back it's best not to do it with just one stitch you need at least two um, so that then gives us our grouping of three sets of stitches again and keep on working round and you will need to add in your stitch marker when you get back to the beginning again so that when we're moving through the rest of the pattern you know exactly where you starting you starting you know exactly where you're starting each round now I don't have any fancy stitch markers um, so I'm going to be using a, a little twist of thread and uh, you just need to make sure that you have identified your joining point which is here you can see where we've cast on hopefully if i can get that in, in focus there we go you can see that that's been cast on there so this is our start point and it's always best just to double check the count so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so we've got the correct count so we can pop on the stitch marker and then begin our second round of just plain knitting so now we're moving on to actually increasing and I'm going to show you the type of increase um, that I'm using which gives me a very neat 
um, reflection um, of the knit two together stitch and the way that I do my make one is by lifting the stitch from below hopefully you can see that it is literally just the stitch beneath which I then lift up and onto the needle to give me an extra new stitch and then I make one and then we knit two and then we're going to make another one so uh, you simply lift the stitch from beneath and add that in and then you knit it and then I'll slide everything round so I'll show you the sliding round again because that can sometimes be rather confusing so we pull the uh, we pull the wire through slide those needles the stitches back onto the working needle and push this through pull through the wire or the cable and then you have your set of three sides so you can begin knitting again as you were so what I'll do is I'll continue on and uh, this grows really quickly and once we've got a few more um, stitches on the needles I'll show you those increases again just so that you've got them clear and can see what they look like further on in the process okay so we've now moved on a few more rows and as you can see we've got a few more stitches so we're now at the point of making one knitting two making one knitting two all the way around so that gives me lots of opportunity to show you the make one again so it's knit one make one knit two make one knit two so we're now ready to make one so again we pick the stitch up from beneath pop it over the needle make one and then we knit two one two and then we make one and so again we pick it up from underneath pop it over that's our make one and then we knit two and um, the actual pattern is available on the blog so that you've got the written pattern because it's going to be too complicated and very boring for me to go through the whole process of the um, the creation but uh, what I'll do is when I move to changing colour um, I will show you how that is done and then I'll also then show you how we uh, reduce our stitches we uh, we lose those stitches so that we can then bring it back into the bauble shape I will then show you how to stuff it how to make the hanger and uh, talk about some other bits and pieces you can do to personalize it but for now that's how you do the increases and um, I'll show you how we do the color change next so now that we've increased and we've created these beautiful little increases with the invisible make one stitch we're going to change our color so I will shuffle everything back around there we go pull that wire through so I've got my uh, three sides of stitches we take a long tail which I hold in my left hand I wrap it around the finger of my right hand to give me the tension and then I knit it on as if it was a normal process, as if it's just part of the normal knitting process. And then you continue on. You can drop the yarn in the back and you continue to knit around. And what you can see on the reverse is you've got your new tail and you've got your old tail. Now I'm gonna leave this so that I don't have to start again and tie it off, but I will tie this off around my white yarn or my cream yarn just so that I've got that secure so that when I stuff the ball the bauble um, I know that it's uh, not going to get pulled out by accident and so I can then continue on knitting around and what I'll do is I will come back once I've finished this band of colour because we now have several rows of just plain knitting which is uh, going to be very very tedious for you to watch even in high speed even with Benny Hill music so um, I shall come back when this block is finished 
and now the uh, demonstration of the uh, the reducing for the top part of the bauble and um, we start off with a slip slip knit so you move both of them to the needle and knit through the back and then knit on through and then we knit two together shuffle the uh, stitches around So you'll need to follow the pattern as before and this really is just showing you how to do the uh, slip slip knit and the uh, knit two together for the different types of reduction and so we'll just knit two and then we will go through the slip slip knit you slip the two I roll around and then knit through the back and then knit on until we do the knit two together and so you knit the two from the front together and that is how you do the reduction and then we'll move on to the stuffing and so now we're going to cut a long tail we're going to thread that through all the stitches on the needle so we can lose our stitch marker and we simply pick up so what we're doing is picking up the stitches threading them through on this long tail gives us our bauble so we can now stuff this we need to sew up the base and if the tail that we've left isn't long enough we can attach one and sew that through and um, and then we pad this out being very careful not to lose that tail so we'll, we'll stuff this up and then sew it together and uh, you'll see what the bauble looks like once it's got some padding inside it. And so now we have sewed up the um, the base, and I've started to to pad out the um, the bauble itself with some um, some stuffing, some wadding, and um, just in case you don't know how we do that, it is quite simple. You just sort of feed it in one finger or one thumb over the other. You don't want to go too crazy with it because this is knitting which means that it will stretch and stretch and stretch but what you do want to make sure that you have is is a nice even round shape so if you need to to give that stuffing a bit of a shove a bit of a poke and a prod to get the right shape then uh, then you do that. Once you've got that padded as needed you then pull the um, the top closed so you have that nice nice cross shape with your uh, with your reductions so you have that nice cross shape on the top there and you have an equally nice cross shape on the base and what we're going to do now is crochet we're going to link in and crochet a five centimeter length of um, chain stitch which will turn into a hanging loop so we're going to make a slip knot and then join that in to one of our stitches, any one of our stitches will do. So we put our slip knot through and then chain away until we have five centimeters, which we can then turn into our hoop. Or hanging loop. If you're not comfortable doing crochet chains then you can of course simply use the extended tail but the, uh, the chain actually looks more attractive
and more mint. And then you can just run that through. A slip stitch. And then cut the end away. Pull that through. And then tie off these loose ends. So then we take our chunky wool needle and we just lose the ends inside pull that through squish it down trim the ends away and then it pops up and those ends are inside and we have a lovely little hoop there so and so here's the completed bauble with crocheted uh, loop. And um, these are very straightforward to make and you can obviously change out the, the colors to match your particular color scheme. Um, I have the pattern for this, I have a striped pattern and there are another, there are a varied selection of other patterns available to buy on the website. Um, they're not desperately expensive, but um, you know, it takes time for me to create the patterns. So, um, you know, it's not going to hurt you to pay £1.50 for a, a collection of um, of patterns for the uh, for the baubles. But um, hopefully that has been useful to you and you'll enjoy making some of these up to match your colour scheme. And um, if that's the case, then please give it a thumbs up, a like, share, leave some comments and share some photos in the uh, starting to knit group so that will be fabulous and um, I'll see you around. Bye for now.